Hi, it's Alaska Granny. I'm spending some time in the lower 48. I'm able to take out my Alaska Granny camper, my travel trailer that I like to spend time when I'm in the Pacific Northwest. And it's been fun taking my little grandchildren out camping. One of my favorite activities of traveling to the lower 48 is hitting up the Dollar Tree. And if you've watched my videos before, you know that I love the Dollar Tree. We don't have them in Alaska. So I like to go and stock up. Since I'm using my granny camper, I need to have some food on hand. It can be difficult to store food in an RV. You want to make sure that you don't stockpile food in an RV that critters can chew on, that can attract any kind of insects. You also don't want to have food in there that could suffer from intense heat or intense cold. I don't usually store a lot of food here, so it's important that I refresh my prepper pantry stockpile to spend some time in my camper. It's important that we stockpile the most important food items, the most used items, so that we'll have those things on hand. Even if you're in a small space, you can have extra food so that you'll have some supplies on hand. What if the weather turns and you can't go to the store? What if you run out of money before you run out of month? Then you'll have some extra food on hand to see you through the difficult days. What if something happens and there's an emergency and the stores are closed, a natural disaster, or something that happens in your area that makes it unsafe to go to the store or just the weather turns bad? Those of us who are preppers, it's a lifestyle. We always want to have extra things on hand. We're not stockpiling things for the SHTF end of the world as we know it. We're stockpiling foods that we actually use and then we're rotating and replacing them. So whether you're out on a camping trip, whether you're on vacation, or you're hunkering down in your home, it's a great idea to have extra food on hand. Anyway, let me show you the prepper pantry haul I did at the Dollar Tree in the lower 48. I went to a Dollar Tree I haven't been to before and they were very well stocked. They had a whole variety of things. Of course, there were some things on my list that I've gotten in the past that aren't available anymore, but that's the way it is when you go to Dollar Tree. And there was only like one clerk checking out, and there were so many people. The line was so long, but she was so pleasant and patient and so nice and friendly. Those are the types of people we want to encounter. Why wouldn't we try to be as pleasant as possible? It doesn't help your day be better if you get grumpy and cranky and you yell at people or be disgruntled. Let's all try to be more pleasant in going forward. Okay, let me show you what I got at Dollar Tree. When I'm spending time in my Alaska granny camper, I have my little grandchildren with me and they're five and two. So I try to make sure that I have foods that they enjoy eating Nobody wants to battle with small children over food. We want them to be fed. And so if it isn't the most nutritious food always or things that they wouldn't have all the time, it's even more fun to spend time with Granny that way. So I started off with a collection of marshmallows. There's tiny marshmallows. They love these shaped marshmallows that are colorful. They just love them. So it's so simple to give them a special treat if it's from Dollar Tree. So these are marshmallow rainbow twists. There are more marshmallow twists that are different shape. And then I found marshmallow swirls. So it's fine to have a few treats around to spoil people that you love occasionally. It shouldn't be something you eat all the time, but an occasional treat can really make your day be more fun, more enjoyable, even if it's not the healthiest thing ever. I was able to get a nice big box of Cheerios and then two different kinds of milk. I have the whole milk and the almond milk so that we have a choice. These are shelf stable. They can live in your pantry for a year and sometimes even more. So make sure that you have milk on hand if it's something that you use in your daily diet. Next I got some fruit snacks. There's some unicorns, here's some sharks, and some mermaids. I got a 10 pack of the Teddy Graham chocolate chip cookies. These are great. I like to get the individual pack because you can just hand out a serving. You can put them in your bug out bag, you can put them in your lunch box, you can put them in your picnic basket, you can stick the few in a treat bag in the car, then you can hand out a portion, you don't spill the entire bag, and then you can control how many your children are eating. Next, think about buying foods that are meals, that are inexpensive and simple to prepare. 
so I bought a can of spaghetti sauce and a big box of spaghetti pasta and this one is 25% more so it's 20 ounces which is a great deal for $1.25 and then if you want to make sure that you have other meal options you could cook some spaghetti serve some chili over it so there's two options of ways with just these three items I can make two completely different meals I also picked up a package of instant mashed potatoes and then I have a can of beef stew add boiling water to make the mashed potatoes pour the stew over it and you have a nice filling meal another option something I haven't ever bought before is a package of already cooked rice it's chicken flavored which is not that much food for $1.25 but it's certainly an option if you don't have a way to cook so I picked this up so that I have an option of an easy to prepare meal because rice takes a lot longer to cook even if you buy minute rice to go with the chicken rice I bought a can of chicken a la king so you can just pour this over it and if you like you could pour it over some of the spaghetti you could pour it over the mashed potatoes you could even just put it over toast the chicken a la king is quite good and versatile next I found some jars which jars aren't necessarily a good thing to have in an RV but I chose them anyway because it's asparagus and mushrooms and these are very nice if you haven't tried these from the Dollar Tree check it out if mushrooms or asparagus are something that you like they're great they're ready to eat just open up the jar and you can add them into a recipe put them in a salad or serve them on the side then think about some of your other recipes and things that you want to have on hand and I was able to get a can of coconut milk and so for $1.25 that's a great deal they're usually two dollars or more in other stores I also picked up a can of the Goya chickpeas these are a great variety of beans and sometimes the chickpeas can be very expensive compared to just say a can of pinto beans and having a can of any type of beans is a great idea so that you have a quick and easy meal you can add it into a lot of things there's a lot of things you can do with the garbanzo or the chickpeas it's also Thanksgiving time is coming and I was able to find a can of yams now know that yams and sweet potatoes the name is used interchangeably but the ones that you find that are in a can are actually all sweet potatoes and if you look on the label they will even say yams cut sweet potatoes or it'll say sweet potatoes and then it'll say yams people use those names interchangeably even though they're not the same vegetable but most of us use sweet potatoes so you can look at the labels and find the ones that are maybe less expensive and if you can find them for $1.25 in my book that is a good deal the next thing I found at Dollar Tree which was a nice surprise was everything bagel seasoning and I bought this from other stores this stuff is great you can yes yeah, sprinkle it over a bagel you can sprinkle it over a potato you can add it over a pasta salad maybe you've prepared some other dishes and they weren't that flavorful try a sprinkle of everything bagel it can really jazz up a meal and make it more special and more delicious the last item I bought at Dollar Tree for my prepper pantry restockpile refreshing it the things I use the most was white vinegar I like that you can find it in a nice sturdy plastic it's still a quart bottle and then I picked up two of them because there's so much you can do with white vinegar everything from cleaning to adding it into recipes to pickling and you can use it outside to kill weeds you can use it as a disinfectant there's a lot of things that you can use white vinegar for and if you look in the regular store it's becoming far more expensive than it was at Dollar Tree so to me that was a good buy so these are the items that I bought for my prepper pantry restock refresh of the most used items that I need and uh, maybe these are items that you'd like to find at Dollar Tree too leave it in the comments below what are the items that you use most often that you pick up at Dollar Tree and uh, are you finding that the stores are still stocked we'd all like to know what's going on in other communities because it helps us be aware of how things are progressing so that we can expect what might come to us next if you enjoy my video I hope you'll share it with someone else you think might like it please like my video and I hope you'll subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel